Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here an article uh, with some information, obviously, and uh, these guys are reporting a situation that I can't call it other than interference in other countries' internal or domestic affairs. And uh, this is Venezuela, and obviously the ones that will, in my assessment, uh, interfere in Venezuela's uh, internal affairs is or are the United States of America. Now, let's read a little bit here what's going on and we're going to talk about it. The interesting thing is that United States does not like when other countries allegedly did that to them, but they do this all the time in other countries' internal affairs. So this article comes from Sputnik and it is from today, the 26th of November 2022. U.S. willing to grant targeted sanctions relief to Venezuela to spur intra-talks. So there's two, two things here. One is the political and the other one is the economical, uh, economic uh, aspect of the situation. Plus, United States, which we know it's a perfect country, it's a very uh, virtuous and ethical and all that, okay? Now, sometime, somewhere in the past, United States imposed some sanctions on the country of Venezuela, okay? And they have those sanctions and Venezuela cannot really sell its, because United States said so, they cannot sell their oil, the products, outside unless United States allow them to do to a certain extent to certain countries. And guess who's the one who's uh, in control of that? An American company. <laughs> okay, you can make shit up. Anyway, so that's one thing. The other thing, there were some elections in Venezuela where uh, inside Venezuela, not outside Venezuela, inside, right? And the guy won, which was Maduro. Well, United States said, well, we don't recognize that because you guys were not fair and our guys on our payroll uh, lost, which is the other guy, uh, Guaido. So because as children, when they play a game, uh, they don't like when they lose, who likes, right? But you don't uh, throw a fit that you lost, you know, and you start pushing everybody around and punch everybody and change the rules as you go, you know what I mean? Cut lines and try to cheat. No, you play by the rules, you don't like it. Nobody likes it when you lose. Do you like when you lose? I don't like when, you, when I lose. But I'm not gonna just take the board game and toss it in the air and say, fuck off everybody. Now, who does that? Certain kind of people. Or anyway, remember, this was not even United States' game because the game was Venezuela game between their own country, in, within its own country. So United States threw a fit, tried to uh, push this guy, uh, what's his name, uh, Guaido. It's, it seems like the Russians also helped uh, Maduro stay in power here as well. Like, like allegedly they helped, what's his name, Erdogan in 2016 when the same guys uh, allegedly, allegedly try to change something in another country, you know, interfere in other countries' internal affairs, which they don't like, right? The Russians did this without democracy and we can't do this, I apologize, come on, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what happens now? The, uh, so that's the economic aspect where the United States is upset with the oil, all right? And they put sanctions over there. And the other one is with the elections, which the United States should not have anything to do with that. They're outsiders. It's like a family over there, a man, a woman. If he cheats on her, if she, if she cheats on him, that's not my problem. Okay? Not me to judge, not me to... It doesn't mean I can't observe it and say, okay, and then judge it inside with based on my values. But I'm not going to go and, say, and tell the guy, hey, guy, uh, you know what? I'm not going to talk to you anymore and I'm going to slap you around because you cheated on your wife. Pfft, that's not my freaking business. All right? So I'm out of it. Well, United States considers that being their business. So they support one party against the other party because they need that party to give them their country with pants down and bent over so they can talk to her, if you know what I mean. So Maduro and uh, it seems like this Guaido, Guaido was taken out. It seems like he's not sponsored anymore by the United States of America. So they try now to make a little, come on, why don't you talk, uh, you know, Maduro, if you talk to uh, the opposition, we will be willing to grant target and sanctions relief. What is that? So if you guys gonna talk, 
we're gonna cut you know the crap and we're gonna give you here something we're gonna give you a little sugar like you give to the horse you know good job horse and you give a little bit sugar you know a uh, positive reinforcement correct correct is that their job to do this no how do you call this that means i give you an incentive maduro to speak with your opposition okay and if you do that i'm if you do what i would like you to do i would cut some uh, slack i will let you you know close my eyes on the virtue issue nothing has to do nothing has to do with, i mean it's nothing that has to do with that the economic with the politic you say well I'm a politic dictates the economic it's true first that's not your country all right and if you're virtuous you're virtuous and you can't say hey you're a rapist but because you're gonna come and uh, uh, be dressed like a clown on my kid's uh, birthday i'm gonna cut you some slack and i'm not going to uh, uh, i don't know imprison you 10 years i'm gonna give you half a year is that how it works it seems like so are you a moral person no do you interfere in the justice system you do why because you get some perks out of it which one is it well yes if the opposition wins what do you think i already told you what you venezuela will be what position she will take the united states is willing to provide targeted sanctions relief to venezuela in order to encourage negotiations between the venezuelan government and the opposition a senior u.s administration official said on saturday today the united states has not acknowledged the legitimacy of venezuela pres venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro's administration. The United States considered Juan Guaido as the legitimate president of Venezuela despite Maduro controlling nearly every level of power in the country. The Maduro administration and allies of the opposition party have been considering talks over the few months to set up new elections. Fantastic. None of United States business. Stay the fuck out. Talks between the two sides is set to begin this Saturday. Today. Woohoo! And I'm quoting, we have long made clear, we have made clear that we believe the best solution to Venezuela is negotiated one is, is a negotiated one between Venezuelans. Okay, then you should stop right there. And Venezuela led, and in order to encourage that, we are willing to provide targeted sanctions relief. You shouldn't be even involved in this. Uh, that's not your fight over there. Based on concrete steps that alleviate the suffering of Venezuelan people. What do you know about that? And bring them closer to a restoration of democracy through free and fair elections. The US official said, if they want to have over there our autocracy or theocracy, that's not your fucking business. If they, uh, my neighbors are engaged in an open marriage, uh, um, swing, whatever swinger uh, sex orgies, that's not my fucking business. I don't care if you're monogamous or not. I don't care if you're whatever you are. If you're homosexual, if you're bisexual, if you're quadrosexual, what the fuck you want to be? Just stay there. You're good. I don't care. Not my business. These guys know. You got to be the way I say you should be if they encourage democracy. Why? Who said that this is the only end? The one that you, everybody else has, has to, uh, uh, how should I put it, uh, embrace. Is it a good one? Yes and no. Why? Because you can't let any fucker, biped, uh, with no knowledge of what the fuck is going on around his or her life, go and vote. Uh, you let them, but they don't know anything. And besides, what if they don't even work? What if they just stay and wait? Give me the freaking money, the taxes that you take from the working class. How about that? How fair that is. But guess what? I can vote. And guess who I'm going to vote for? The people who continue to give me the money from you. The Robin fucking hood. So yeah, thank you very much, democracy. That's one aspect. I disagree with that 100%. You have to do something. You have to participate with this, with this, with that. If necessary, you do things. You just don't stay like a... Tick on a on a whatever dog and just suck blood blood. But when the dog has to turn left or right, you have something to say. Hey, I have a say here, dog. You can't turn left because I say so. Motherfucker, you just suck my blood. That's all you do. I keep you alive. You have no say here. Participate with what? With your weight? Jesus Christ, fucking ticks. Anyway. 
if talks are if talks are su successful, what does that mean? The United States may loosen sanctions on Venezuela, on the country, paving way for more oil exports from the country. So, if you guys agree to do what I want you to do, I will allow you to do commerce with the rest of the world. Bravo, bravo, excellent. So this is the way it fucking goes. It makes you love uh, this, uh, these leaders. In that, you, you, can't, you can't but love them. You do what I'm telling you to do, and you can survive as a country. When you hear that, oh my God, on the TV, those guys, the uh, anchors at the TV, hey, did you know that Venezuelans lost 40 pounds in uh, last year, and they eat the animals from the zoo? This is what they say here. Uh, they eat animals of the zoo, of the zoo, and Maduro is gaining fatter and fatter, and everybody else is skinnier and skinnier. They just, what, uh, you know, what I mean? It's, oh my God. I wonder why. Why? And you, what do you do? You, you strangle them, hold them by their balls and squeeze hard, not letting them do commerce, or sell their oil to whomever they want. So are you responsible a little bit for those guys that it's thinner and thinner? You know what I mean? Or not? Not at all. Not at all. Do you uh, interfere in their internal, in internal affairs? No. No. No way. Well, you got to be a certain kind of person. If you put this administration or the politicians in like a human being, you would give this person a lot of mental uh, illness right there. You would give at least narcissistic and other uh, traits right there. L lack of self, uh, um, you know, uh, reflection, uh, ac accountability. It's unbelievable. Give them a mirror and they will look through it. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Uh, when you hear these guys, yeah, Russia interfered in our uh, democracy. That's not good. But did you do it then? And shut the fuck up. Or don't, at least don't do it again. You know, and I always come with the same thing. Remember, the Bible tells us. The Bible tells us. Remember when people tried to stone to death Mary Magdalene, the lady of the night? Hmm. Remember what Jesus, our Lord, Savior said? Hey. The ones who don't have any sins cast your first stone. And everybody was like, hmm. okay, let's go. That's how it occurred, really. But those guys had something at least in their heart. They realized they had self-reflection and they were just enough in their brain, honest enough to say, hmm, where was I last night? Oh, I guess I have a few sins here. Uh, I think I did that too. Well, these guys say, well, I did that too. I did that. Bang, bang, bang. That's what these guys are doing with Venezuela. Continue throwing rocks, knowing, knowing what the fuck they've been doing. So that's even worse than, I don't know what's going on. Woo -hoo. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Unbelievable people. Unbelievable people. This is the world we live in. Uh, that we support it and uh, the, the world that sucks our taxes of our hard-earned uh, whatever thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just